Have you ever been snooping on Etsy and you see a shop and you think, I'd like to know more about them. I'd like to know why they're ranking. I'd like to know what they're doing. I'd like to know about their tags and their titles and what categories they're using. And you want a quick way to spy on these shops and see what they're up to. I'm going to share with you today a great e-rank tool that you might not have heard of. Jokingly, we call it the super spy tool, but it's the analyzer or shortcut button, and I'm going to show you how to get to it. Let's dive into the dashboard. The super spy tool you need to install onto your dashboard for the features to work. So from your E-Rank account, you want to go to tools and scroll all the way down to the shortcut button. And this feature is free for all users. And then you want to click and drag this button onto your bookmark bar. Now, as it says Chrome or Firefox, this works perfectly with. I've managed to get this working with Microsoft Edge as well. So just check in how you get your bookmark bar. I think it's the favorites bar on Edge. But I'm using Chrome just now. So all you do, you pick up by clicking and dragging this button, take it up to your bookmark bar, which is just here. And when I let go, I get this little cute smiley face, which does absolutely nothing just now, but it's kind of reassuring to have there. So what you want to do is when you're on any page on Etsy, well, any competitor's page, this is a real cool little feature. So I'm just going to look at my own shop, so I'm not picking on anyone in particular. But if you're on the home page of a shop, so here's my shop, I'm on the home page, and imagine this was a competitor, and I'm just thinking to myself, I want to know more about this shop. So I could go back to E-Rank, cut and paste the title and everything, cut and paste the name of the shop. But rather than that, that, I just want to hit my friendly little button and what happens it takes us through analyzer shortcut it pops into the top sellers for this shop so it gives you a whole load of data here it tells you the nationality the number of sales what the feedback's like how many sales you've had that day sales rank global sales rank national your shop age sales per day what category it's mostly in and is your shop handmade you get the little thing telling you the shop sold more than 95% of other sellers, so you'll get to see if this is a top seller or not. And you get a wee snoop at the most recent listings, which these are all clickable links, so you can snoop about in any of this. So that's what happens if you're in a shop page on Etsy. So let's go back and see what happens if we're on one of the listings. So you've had a poke about in a shop and you're thinking, what do I need to do here? What, what do I need to know? I want to know more, but I just want to know. This listing looks cool. I want to know about this listing. So when you're in a listing poking about, now Etsy changes up how the listings are all the time. Sometimes you get to see what the tags are. Sometimes you get to see the description. Sometimes it's kind of hidden away. All sorts of different things here. So it can be difficult to know what's happening with the listing, but not with your super, super secret spy button. So you just click this from any listing on Etsy. And this takes you to the grades tool. Well, it takes you to the listing audit tool for this page. Now I will go into depth on the listing audit tool to in the future video don't pay too much attention to the grades and in future if you're watching this video from the future things, some things might be changed but it gives you some ideas you can look at a little bit of data now if it's your own listing you can see the number of sales certain information's private for other people's listings so you won't see exactly the same here but you'll get some ideas what's the visibility the daily views on this how old is it when was it last changed? When's it going to expire? Lots of interesting things here. You can see the title. We get to see all of the tags. And again, these are clickable links. So if you want to analyze this tags a little bit more and know a bit about it, and you get an idea looking at things like, how's their SEO of this? Are they using this in their description? Are there any spelling issues here? So it gives you some ideas. And the little, I love this, the search trend graph here lets you see at a glance are any of these keywords kind of any good mine not so much clearly but this listing's doing well so i'm leaving it alone but we can look and see that a tag of dog art it kind of grows over time 
Oddly enough, in May this was super high, but it's potentially picking up again. Or you can see some tags blow up for one month and then fall away to nothing. So this trend really helps. And again, you can see the attributes this is in, what holidays it's in, sizes, anything it has. And importantly, because it can be difficult to know what category, we get a look at what category someone's put the things in. We can see the whole of their description right there. We can see all of their pictures, processing time. The sales history is, of course, for your own shop. You won't get that for other people, but there's lots of other data. Once you scroll through all of the sales, uh, you get a preview. This is super helpful for your own listings, but you get a preview of what it's going to look like, what that main image is and what the title looks like, and a quick preview of what it's going to be like on Google. And then a hashtag generator if you were wanting to steal the tags and turn, turn them into hashtags. So I'd just like to remind you that although I also work for E-Rank, videos in this YouTube channel are my own and are not endorsed or or sponsored by eRank at all. So thanks for joining me and if there's any other eRank tools you would like me to dive into and show you, let me know in the comments below.